What's going on folks? Really quickly, let me show you exactly how I start every single one of my projects in DaVinci Resolve 20. So on my desktop here, I've got a Shorts DRB for my Shorts and a Misronix 30 for my main YouTube videos. We simply give that a double click. DaVinci Resolve isn't currently open, so it's gonna start opening. It's gonna skip right past the project manager and instead open up a brand new project. So here we are in a brand new project. If we jump over to the edit page, go to my media pool, you can see we've got a media folder ready for me to import all of my media. And I've got a Mr. Alex folder with a Mr. Alex 30 timeline. If we open that up, it's got all of my tracks. And if we click on my audio track, it's got all of my audio effects. So I just import my media and I'm good to go. Now they're called DRB files and they're technically not new for DaVinci Resolve 20. They are just super handy, but they have made them better because now you can have empty folders in them so you can create your folder structure ahead of time and you can sync media, which is incredibly useful. Let me show you that. So I record on this Lumix S5 and that allows me to record directly to an SSD. So once I've recorded my YouTube videos, I take this SSD and plug it in over here. I'll open up my Shorts DRB, which once again will open up DaVinci Resolve. And then if we jump over to the edit page, we'll go to the media pool, you see I've got this 100 panner. This is my SSD. There's only two clips in there at the moment, but if we right click and then resync the media files and it'll pull in any new clips from that SSD so that I can just grab them, drop them on my timeline and I'm good to go. And because it's a super fast NVMe SSD, I can just edit the files directly from the SSD, export the video and I'm good to go. It's a really neat little workflow. And you can also do this with power bins as well because they've added the ability to resync media in power bins. So let me show you how to create your own DRBs and to resync your media in both DRB files and of course, power bins. So all you need to do from literally any project within DaVinci Resolve, I've just started a new one, open up the media pool. You've got your media pool bins and stuff over here on the left. And then you just need to create a structure. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna create a new bin and you want to give this one, this is kind of like your top end, your master bin kind of thing. We'll call this Mr. Alex Tech or whatever you want to call it. And then within this bin, we're gonna create a new bin. Now you can call these whatever you like. You can make as many of these as you like. So let's do a media one and then let's maybe do a roll and we'll do another one for B roll. Now let's do another one. I'm just gonna call this one timeline. And within timeline, we're gonna right click timelines and create a new timeline. So let's call this one Mr. Alex Tech and let's untick the use project settings and then we can customize the format. So choose a resolution, choose your frame rate, customize the color options, do all of the things that you need to do to make this timeline exactly what you want it. We'll hit create and there it is. We can create multiple timelines if we want to, I'll keep it simple. Then from this timeline, just create as many tracks as you like, rename the tracks. So let's call this one A-roll. Whatever we need to do, if we click on this audio one, we could open up the inspector, change the volume, enable the AI voice isolation, the ducker, whatever, make another one, go to the effects area, audio effects, grab on dialogue processor, drop that on there. You get the idea, you just build everything up within this timeline to get it exactly as you want it. Then from there, all you need to do is click on this Mr. Alex Tech, this top level folder you created, right click, and there's an option to export a bin. Choose your location. So I'm just gonna dump this one on my desktop. We will call it Mr. Alex Tech New, because I've already got a Mr. Alex Tech, and we'll save that, and job done. Now, if we were to close DaVinci Resolve down, I've got my Mr. Alex Tech New DRB. We open that up. DaVinci Resolve will open, we'll skip the project manager, we'll open a brand new project, and now I've got my media, I've got my A-roll and B-roll, we've got my structure got my timeline, we open that up, there it is, then I just import some media and I'm good to go. If I hit save, it's just gonna say, give this a new name, so this is called new project, and we click save, and now we've got this brand new project in DaVinci Resolve with everything ready to go. Now what's really cool, this Mr. Alex Tech new will never be overwritten because it's just a template that starts a new project, so you don't need to worry about overwriting it, and you could back this up to the cloud, so if anything happens to your PC or whatever, you could just grab this back or even put it onto a brand new PC, and then you double click, as long as you've got DaVinci Resolve installed, it's gonna open up, create that timeline, create that structure, and then you can just keep working, 
as you need to. It's a really cool little trick and it's what I've been doing to start all of my projects for ages because it's a nice little time saver. Now that new media sync trick. This is really cool if you've got a folder on your computer full of resources or whatever and you want to load them in every single time that you start one of these projects. But you may have updated that folder with new stuff, new music or new images or new videos or whatever. Now what you can do is simply resync to pull through all of that new media. So let me show you how to set that up. And it's dead easy. So on my desktop, I've got a demo sync and within there we've got this assets folder and within assets, we've just got a single PNG at the moment. So let's grab this assets folder. This is just from outside of DaVinci Resolve, just within Windows or Mac, it works exactly the same. And we're gonna grab assets and we'll drop it into media. Now this assets folder is now linked to this assets folder on your computer. So the bin within Resolve is linked to the folder on your computer. So now let's just export this bin. We'll overwrite the previous one. And we're just gonna open that up. And while that's opening, let's go to this assets and we're just gonna paste in a bunch of other stuff. Just some videos and some music and audio, PNGs, whatever else, some other media. Now this new project is opened. Let's go to this assets. We're gonna right click and we're gonna come down and click on resync media files. And anything new that's been added to this folder will then appear within our bin. So then I can grab any of this stuff, bring it down, onto my timeline and it's good to go. Now I'm just gonna open my short DRB. So this is my SSD and I've got a DCIM and I've got this folder here called 100 Panna. So all of the videos I record on my camera get recorded to this folder. Now when I set up my short DRB, all I did was I grabbed this 100 Panna and I dragged it into this short folder and then exported the DRB. So every time I open up this shorts project, I've got my shorts timeline here I've got this 100 panner folder, which only had a couple of bits of media in originally. But now if I right click, I can resync the media files and it'll pull in anything new from that SSD. Then I can just grab the clips that I need and drop them on my timeline. Now we have imported a bunch of clips we don't actually need because they're in this 100 panner. So the next thing I do, click on these three little dots in the top right of your media pool, and then simply click on remove unused clips. I'll ask if I want to check all timelines. I do, so I'll load all timelines and it'll remove everything from that folder which isn't currently on a timeline, clearing everything up, making this project ready to go. It's good, right? Now, Power Bins works in pretty much the same way. So you have the ability to do this media sync within Power Bins. Now, if you've never heard of Power Bins, Power Bins are just folders which you can access from all of your different projects. So again, it's a really handy way of just setting up kind of shared resources which you might need in one project in the future or going back to an old project, PNGs, music, whatever else you might need. I use it for music and sound effects and all that sort of stuff. Now you can do this media sync within the Power Bins. So first of all, within your media pool, you should see Power Bins down here. If you don't, you click on these three little dots and then come down to show Power Bins and then they will appear. And what I've got is this resources folder, audio, sound effects and music. If I open up music, there's a bunch of music within there. If I've added new music to that folder, I can then simply right click and resync the media files. So this is always being updated from music, which I've copied to this location. This is actually stored on my NAS drive. So it's always there, ready to go. It's really cool. Now this works in pretty much the same way. So I've got my power bin, I've got my assets, grab my folder, drop it over here on the left. Assets, it's pulled in a bunch of stuff. Let's open this assets folder and we're gonna paste in a bunch of music. So there's a load of new stuff within that assets folder. So we simply right click, come down to resync media files, and now that assets folder has got a bunch of new stuff in it. If we were to open a brand new project, the old fashioned way, that power bin has all of that new stuff. Now the only other quick thing to mention about this, if I was to go to that folder on my computer and delete a bunch of stuff, it wouldn't automatically get rid of it from here. Even if I was to right click and resync media files, they're just gonna show up as red. So if you do delete anything, you just then need to go and manually delete them from the power bin. And there you go, that's all there is to it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know thoughts and feelings or whatever else down below. Definitely do check out ResolveCon. Again, links in the description. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.